Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I'm gonna be throwing out another video. Sorry that I haven't been making any lately. I've just kind of had trouble uploading them. But, um, hopefully this one will come on really good. And, uh, yeah, basically I'm gonna be showing you guys some baits that I've just recently purchased at Bass Pro. So, uh, let's get started. Um, first I'm gonna do soft baits, then I'll do hard baits, and so forth. Um, the first bait that I got was the Berkeley Power Hog. Berkeley Power Bait Power Hog. These are extremely good on a Carolina rig. Um, same with the, uh, Strike King Game Hogs. The only thing is, these have that, uh, wonderful Power Bait scent that we all love. So, um, these are in camo color. And, uh, I can't say enough about them. Next, uh, we got the Berkeley Powerbait, uh, Chigger Curl. Uh, Crazy Lace Chigger Curl. This is in, um, the color Watermelon Candy. And, uh, well, I mean, Texas Rig, Carolina Rig, Drop Shot, you name it, this does it. Uh, it works extremely good in ponds. Next, we got, um, just, you know, the standard 7-inch power bait worm. I'm sure everybody's fished one. Uh, it's got their good scent, like they all do. And, uh, this is my favorite color, Tequila Sunrise. Works really good. So, uh, check that out. Next. Got um some gambler five inch swim baits. These are the jointed ones, and uh, they got a nice garlic scent to them, which really brings them uh, in. Next, we got a robo worm, and uh, these are really good for uh, drop shotting. I like to use them for shaky head. This is my favorite worm for shaky head, but um, you know they're just good for anything, and they got uh, lots of salt in them. It's really good. And they just got a lot of action. Oh, this is also in um, Red Crawler. And uh, next, I've already opened these, but um, just another 6 inch uh, Robo Worm. This one's in Pumpkin Punisher, so uh, yeah. Um, next, we got another package of 6 inch ones. Um, this is an Earl's Edge, and uh, you know, standard Robo Worm. Next, we got the uh, Berkeley Havoc Backslide, and I don't know if you guys have been following this on Tackle Warehouse or have seen it anywhere else, but this is a really good uh, bait. It's, it's really hyped. Um, I have like I can't wait to get my like uh, get it in the water, but I've been waiting a long time for this. And, uh, designed by Michael Iaconelli, uh, I'm feeling it's gonna be pretty good. I'm going out a rough river, uh, for Labor Day this weekend, and, uh, hopefully we'll get some around the docks. So, uh, I got the, these are in smoke with black flake, and this one's in June bug. I'll just take one out to show you. It's got this really cool dual density thing. Oh, uh, dual density plastic, which basically... When you, like, if you'd wacky rig it, like you can see right there where it's uh, darker. When you wacky, wacky rig it, it goes down like this, kind of settles down. It should get a strike. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to be using that. Um, next, got some, uh, KBD Perfect Plastics. Um, 10 inch worms and uh, these are in dark color these work pretty good I mean you know it's I like the robo worms better but these these work pretty good and they've got some good colors but uh you know I would recommend those um next we're moving on to like terminal tackle and stuff next we got these little uh pumpkin head uh jigs these little yum screw lock I'll just demonstrate one on. It's on a robo worm. So, uh, yeah. It's got a six odd gap. That's a big hook. 
a big hook, big fish. Um, I just bought some weights. Just some one eighth ounce Carolina rig and Texas rig. Uh, bought some little uh, swivels. Um, now I'll move on to hard baits and stuff. Uh, first, we got a live target mouse. This is a really good bait. I mean, I know it's kind of overpriced, but you get a lot of detail. And these work really good in farm ponds and stuff, because there's lots of field mice around there. This is a really good bait. I would recommend it. Next, we got the uh, King Shed by Strike King. This is an extremely good wake bait. You know, for when those buzz baits and stuff in the morning cut down, you can always throw out a wake bait, and you might get those little straggler fish. But, uh, I got this on sale for five bucks. It's originally like fifteen, so it's a really good deal. Um, got this in Pearl Shed, I think. Uh, next. Got a few Bomber, uh, Deep Divers. These go eight to ten. And, um, this is one of my favorite baits for cranking deep. Citrus Shed right here. Oh, you can't beat it. But it's got a square lip on there, so it'll deflect real easily off cover. This one's in uh, Pearl Shed. But, um, yeah, those are really good baits. If you do any deep cranking, I'm sure you know about these, but they make them for everything. They make them, you know, go down to 20 feet and all that stuff. Um, I also purchased a Skeet Reese uh, Wright and Miguel rod. I put on a um, uh, Daiwa Acceler uh, 4 to 9 to 1 crankbait rod. I got a little Series 5 uh, Strike King on there. But um, yeah, this is a really good rod. I'm really happy with it. Um, this is my deep cranking rod, of course. But uh, it's got a lot of um, flexibility, I guess. But you can really make a long cast. I got 10 pound P line on here. Um, I'm really happy with this rod, but, uh, yeah. So, I guess just rate, comment, subscribe, you know, do whatever. Uh, I'll probably be uploading another video from, um, Rough River, um, next, probably in next couple of days, uh, I'm gonna be doing a, uh, uh, video over all my rods and stuff and then maybe one of my tackle if, if the videos are doing good but um just remember you know if you want more I'll give you more but I'll see you later guys thanks for watching